I'm Donna Vining, Executive Director of Texas Association for Interior Design, and I'm happy to introduce you to Jay Brown. Jay has been our lobbyist since 2003, and he knows and understands the profession of interior design. Jay, please tell us a little bit more about yourself. Thank you, Donna. Uh, I am a lobbyist in Austin, Texas. I have spent the last three decades uh, walking the halls of the Capitol, representing various clients ranging from Fortune 100 companies to small businesses to trade associations like your own. And I enjoy the work of being able to help different groups navigate uh, the myriad of challenges that the legislature and state regulation presents and figure out ways to make sure that the state does not interfere with your ability to make a living. Jay, uh, you and I both know we've had a lot of progress since you joined us. How many years ago now? What, uh, 18? Anyway, what are some of the major accomplishments you felt that we've seen in just the last 10 years of our association? Well, I, I feel like we've we've done a lot of things. And, and the first thing I think we've done is we've raised the profile of interior designers in the Capitol. When, when an issue pops up now that involves interior design, we've, we've gotten over the hurdle with so many legislators of them understanding that there's a difference between quote, decoration and interior design. And that has helped us to be able to address substantive issues, but there was also, there was a big learning curve in getting legislators to understand that. And we have fought off multiple attempts to eliminate any of the statutes involving interior design. Uh, we have managed to put interior designers on par with architects in, in public bidding processes. Uh, those are a few of the things that we've accomplished. And it's been a long, hard fought, and we really appreciate all you've done for us, Jay. TAID, um, you know, we're looking at the elections, and they're, what, 34 days away? Uh, we always encourage our members to exercise their right to vote. Do you have any thoughts about the elections uh, for the 87th session? Uh, absolutely. Uh, this is going to be an election like none other we've ever seen. Uh, just all of the unknowns and unknown variables uh, make it very hard to predict. Uh, we've never had an election, at least not in the modern era, had an election during the middle of a pandemic. Uh, being able to predict who's going to turn out uh, is very difficult. Uh, and so anybody that tells you that they know what's going to happen uh, is pulling your leg. Uh, but like you said, it's important to encourage interior designers to turn out and vote. And however they feel politically, they should vote because for the interior designers, for TAID, we are not R's or D's. We have an I next to our name for interior design. And whatever legislators that we can establish a relationship with, establish a rapport with, and have conversations that promote our agenda are important to us, whether they are Democrats or Republicans. So whatever interior designers' personal beliefs are in their area, whoever they get out and work for, it's important. And that they get out and introduce themselves to their legislator and help them so that in the future, if they need something from that legislator, they can call on them. Jay, sometimes I'm asked if small checks or really volunteering efforts can actually make a difference. What is your thought on that? It absolutely makes a difference. The hardest part of serving in an elective office is asking people for money. It's the part legislators and other elected officials hate the most because it's such a difficult thing and uncomfortable thing. And whether you are writing a $50 check or if you're a larger group or a larger pack that's writing a $1,000 check or a $5,000 check, legislators really do appreciate that help uh, because they cannot run these campaigns without money. But even if you don't have money, if you're able to give of your time, that is something even more personal and it's something that legislators really do appreciate and they feel a, a almost an indebtedness to you if you give of your time. We have had history with that. There was a legislator uh, early on uh, after we got involved together whose family had been full of architects 
and he came into his first session predisposed to support the architect's positions against our positions. Uh, fast forward to the next election cycle, and we had a group of interior designers that went and helped him because he had a primary challenge. They stuffed envelopes, they walked door to door, they spent a lot of hours in his campaign office, and the next session, he didn't forget it. Uh, he basically took the approach of, if I can find a way to be helpful to the interior designers that doesn't go against my principles, I'm going to do it because they were there for me. Yeah, I remember that so well, and it's so true. Um, right now, Jay, of course, we have this live auction uh, on October the 1st. And the other thing we have planned is, of course, our day at the Capitol, March the 9th. Do you think we'll actually be able to have that? That's a great question. Uh, right now, uh, they're still trying to figure out how we're going to have session. We will have a legislative session. The state constitution mandates it. But how it will function is still up in the air. Uh, it's, the Capitol is a public building. They're not going to be able to deny the public access to the building. Uh, but how the legislators interact with the public is a whole nother question. Uh, you probably will have to make appointments well ahead of time to meet with legislators. Uh, there probably will be less interaction in the hallways with legislators and staff, uh, which means we're going to have to start earlier. We're going to have to be more organized and work harder to make sure we have the time and the opportunities to deliver our message. Okay, well, I think that's all wraps it up really for us. Uh, Jay, I really appreciate you sharing your time and wisdom with us. And Kip, we'll turn the show back over to you. See you everybody later.